What you know about this? I heard some things. I need you to go find me that white boy. Tell me where he at. As soon as I get him, you gonna get the car. You're definitely running your own hustle now, Tommy. If you keep pushing too hard now, we ain't gonna win at this. If I gotta second guess you, then all this shit go away. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 4 Force, Season 1, Episode 7. This is the What to Expect video for Episode 7, and it is based off the trailer that they put out. Now, the title of the episode is called Outrunning the Ghost, and the description of the episode reads, Tommy's new product is spreading like wildfire across Chicago. The current success isn't good enough for Tommy. He wants to own the entire city and is determined to figure out how to do so, no matter the cost. So those are the key elements of this next upcoming episode. Your boy Tommy, he smelled blood. He trying to take over completely. And it seems like he is losing any type of patience and he is eager to get it all done. So we're going to find out exactly how it's all going to play out. And based off this trailer, it definitely seems like it's some type of tension um, with Tommy's business as far as working with Liliana and Claudia Flynn. We know that your girl Liliana is telling Tommy if he keep pushing too hard, everything is not going to go the way that he plans it to go. So maybe he needs to you know, take a step back and think about his next upcoming moves. But she does have a point. The last thing that Tommy wants to do is create new problems for himself and its organization. Moving smarter, being more patient is the way that Tommy needs to go. And I believe it will be some hiccups. It's going to be some problems, especially with this new product that they're pushing out. And I believe once everybody gets the taste of it, it's going to be high, high demand. And at the same time, Claudia has to do her part, making sure she does not mess up and make big mistakes as well as your girl Liliana. So we're going to find out exactly how it's all going to play out. Now, you guys, make sure you checked out my last video. I dropped the episode six recap for you guys yesterday, as well as the video that I did on your boy Barton Fitzpatrick. He will be joining the Power Universe in episode seven. A lot of you guys know him as Reg in The Shy, and now he's going to be entering the Power Universe, and I got a feeling he's going to make things very, very interesting. So let's talk about this trailer. What did we see in episode seven? I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key points in the trailer. If I miss anything, you guys let me know. So in the trailer, we see your boy Diamond and Tommy Egan having a conversation. And we know Diamond is telling him like, man, so what do you know about this new product? And we know Tommy tells him he heard some things, right? So Tommy already knew this conversation probably is going to happen a long time ago. It's crazy because a few episodes back, Diamond told Tommy, like, man, you don't make a move without knowing the next five moves ahead. Tommy already knew it could be some possible issues with him working with CBI and him working with the Flynn family. And having this whole setup with your girl Claudia was definitely a great investment for Tommy. I guess we had to wait and see the long term effects of this investment and if it was actually worth it. But the question that we have to ask is, Will Tommy actually tell Diamond the truth about him making moves with Claudia? Now, whether Tommy tells him the truth or not about that, Diamond, in my opinion, he's going to want to do business. He's going to understand eventually that this drug is the drug that everybody wants. And he wants to get in on it because he wants to make money. Ain't nobody going to want that coke that your boy Jannar sniffing each and every episode. They ain't going to want that. They're going to want this Dahlia product, right? Y'all know that's going to be the case so this could be you know a business opportunity for diamond in tommy and that's all in tommy's hands if he decides to actually go out there and do this we know it will create issues down the line having this product and having a high demand and working with these people is always going to create issues and i got a feeling that's what's going to be the case the last thing that they want is another issue like they had with reggie we know what happened to Reggie, right? The dude was strung out. He was tweaking in the last episode. He needed some more of that product. And y'all saw how he was fiending. The boy was fiending like Jodeci. So the last thing that they need is something like that to happen once again. And speaking of fiends, your boy Jannard is hitting the strip club. He's getting it popping. And he got young Marshall with him in the back. Your boy Marshall, he's looking like, man, look at all these cheeks up in this 
club. And now it's about to go down. They about to have a great time at the club. Your boy Jannard in there, you know what I'm saying, giving product to strippers. They in there getting high. He's probably in there getting high off his own supply. This is what he's been doing. And that is a huge weakness. This is a huge weakness um, on Jannard's part. And he has to stop, especially if he ever wants to fully take control or at least have an advantage over anybody. I mean, doing his own supply is just breaking his head down. And once he gets the taste of that Dahlia, your boy Jannard going to be on one. He going to be tweaking for real. Y'all thought he was tweaking off that coke. Man, that dude going to be, I mean, on a whole nother level when he get a hit of that Dahlia, right? Now, I got a feeling your boy Tommy has a high chance of being at the same spot that Jannard is at in that club. I can be completely wrong, but based off the trailer, it definitely seems like Tommy is up in the, in the club and he's probably watching Jannard. He needs to watch him anyway. The dude been plotting and planning on you. So hopefully this time around, Tommy is able to see how he's actually in there moving. Now we can expect Jannard to once again put that pressure on D-Mac and this time he's more aggressive. He's telling D-Mac like, look, I need you to find that white boy. I need you to find out exactly what he's doing. He wants to know his every move. He is trying to get the upper hand on Tommy Egan. But as we talked about in the last episode, the game plan that Jannard had to get some intel on Tommy, it didn't work out. And once again, we're going to see the same thing in this episode. Your boy d Max going to approach Tommy. And y'all saw in this trailer exactly how that's going to play out. Tommy pulling the strap out. And he's like, look, kid, you don't want to lose your life. I'm not going to sit up here and play around with you. Now, this is where I think the conversation is going to start. Or at least d Mac is going to try to get some information on why Tommy was talking to JP. And it would be kind of weird for d Mac to just to come out and say, I saw you and JP talking. What's up with that? What's going on between y'all two? Um, I want to know exactly how d Mac is going to address this, but I do think something is going to happen when it comes to that conversation Tommy and d Mac are going to have. And eventually Tommy's going to start putting the clues together and he's going to wonder like, man, something's up with this kid. And eventually he's going to connect the dots and those secrets will eventually be revealed. Now in the next episode, we can expect your boy Tommy Egan to drop off more bodies. Now in the background, we can hear Liliana telling him, you're definitely running your own hustle. But if you keep pushing too hard, we're not going to win at this. So as I stated, Tommy has to watch how he moves, be a little bit more patient. And he has to just know that it's going to come. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to take over Chicago, but you got to make sure you're making the right moves along the way. And dropping off certain bodies, it may make a lot of sense because we know Tommy's going to do that in the next episode. But I do think Liliana does have a point. You know what I'm saying? Don't push too hard, man. You just never know how things are going to play out. The last thing that Tommy needs to do is go back to his old way of thinking. And he needs to continue to do what he's been doing. It's no use to start changing things up. Good thing about having Liliana a part of his organization is she knows exactly who Tommy Egan is. She knows enough of his past to know how he used to move. And we already know she's going to keep it real with him. And he needs that. He needs someone like her around to tell him like, look, you're slipping up. You know what I'm saying? You need to come back to the drawing board and make the right adjustments. That way we can be good down the line. Now, we can expect your boy, Jannard, to be hooking up with some new crew members. Um, and it seems like your boy, Freddie Gibbs, will be in this next upcoming episode. We got to wait and see what type of character he's going to be playing and how he's going to be connected with Jannard. At the end of the day, whatever they're talking about, I'm pretty sure it is about business. And we know Jannard, he wants to continue to put on the front like he is the top dog that he is running everything. So this is why I can't wait to see how this relationship is going to have with Freddie Gibbs' character, as well as Barton Fitzpatrick's character, Blackston. I can't wait to see how your boy Jannard is going to manage all this and how deep he's going to be involved with these new characters that's going to be coming to the show. Now, also in the trailer, we can see your boy Walter Flynn, and I got a feeling we're going to see the aftermath of what happened in last week's episode and what he did to the Serbians, and also, of course, his health. It's getting worse and worse each and every episode, so he's going to have to do something about it. Eventually, he's going to have to tell Claudia the truth about his health and what's going to come next for the family once he is not here anymore. I know it's going to be tough for him, but eventually he's going to have to do it, in my opinion. Now, at the end of the trailer, we can see your boy Tommy Egan, and I'm going to tell you right now, he's pissed off, y'all. He's very pissed off. He's upset about what's going down. Apparently, something went down between Claudia and maybe the cook, but whatever it was, it's pissing Tommy off. He's talking about if he has to second guess her, 
that means all of this is going to go away. So nine times out of 10, your girl Claudia has made a mistake. We know she is still new to this. She is still mentally trying to prove herself and tell herself like, look, I can do this, which so far she's been doing her thing. But we know Tommy still has his own agenda when it comes to working with Claudia. This is the reason that he really has Liliana around, in my opinion. He wants Liliana to know exactly how this product is put together. Once that happens, this cook can go. He's not going to need the cook no more because Liliana is going to know how to, you know, put the whole product together. But as of right now, he has to continue to make sure that this business thing that he got going with Claudia is right on good terms. Doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, but it means it's going to be some mistakes made, especially knowing that Claudia is still adapting to being at the top level running things. You know what I'm saying? In the past, her pops and Vic, they did everything as far as, you know, running and doing the street stuff where she handled the books. This time around, we know Claudia, she is actually out there putting in work, making major moves, and she's new, making mistakes. She's catching bodies, but she's learning. Tommy can continue to mold her to be exactly how he wants her to be. But in the meantime, we can expect mistakes to be made. And we know Tommy's going to be upset about those mistakes. But Tommy has to also remember what Liliana told him. You know what I'm saying? Don't push too hard because you don't want to end up losing when it's all said and done. At the same time, we know Tommy wants to make sure everything is going the right way, which he needs to do. But he just has to continue to monitor everything and make sure the game plan is always going to be the game plan and it's always going to work out when it's all said and done. So this is the what to expect for episode seven, y'all. It is about to go down. We're going to be introduced to some new characters. I cannot wait. We're going to find out more about this Adrian character. We're going to talk more about her character very, very soon. So I want you guys to be on the lookout for that video. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. Follow the playlist, continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest Power Book 4 Force news, and I will continue to give you guys these videos. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.